G'day everyone, thanks for tuning in. It's a very exciting day because I am about to open up my Weber Baby Q. Now I've wanted one of these for ages and we've finally got it for our new Jayco Eagle that we're getting uh, this coming week. And I'm gonna test it out tonight, check that it all works, because knowing my luck, you take things camping and then they don't work. So I'm gonna show you in this video what is in the box I've also I've had a Weber family queue before and every other Weber you can think of. So they are an awesome brand. I know it's going to be awesome, but I'm going to show you what comes in the box. And we are drinking my favorite beer, Cluster 8 by Vince Spoke. Because it is such an exciting moment. So let's have a look and show you what comes in the box if you buy a Weber baby queue. And this one is the, I believe it's called the Weber premium series i think it is it's like a premium and the reason for that is because it's black and it has the uh temperature gauge whereas the other one you save a tiny bit of money but don't have a temperature gauge but i'd recommend having one so let's show you what comes in the box if you purchase yourself a weber baby kit all right so now this one cost me 300 and something i think 350 bucks or something uh, from a, a Weber dealer. Now keep in mind, you can get these barbecues from like um, BCF and stuff like that, places that aren't official Weber dealers, but um, they don't have the premium models with the um, with the temperature gauge. So it is best, I think, to get them from the proper Weber retailer. And then they have all the accessories and stuff too. Um, so you get the, the lid. Now I can already attest that um, because of my experience with Webers that they uh, are built really, really well. Um, and there's not a lot of setting up to do, which is good too. So this is your um, drip tray, and that slides straight in the bottom, um, and I will show you that very, very soon. Um, then in here, you have the instructions manual. What do you get in your instructions manual? Oh. Not just instructions these days, is it? A Weber CD or DVD by the looks of it. So <laughs> CD. Uh, Weber book. Now, <clears throat> check this out, right? All the Webers do this. Inside the Weber book, which will tell you sort of how to start it and all that sort of stuff, there'll be recipes. Look at that. They always do that. They give you loads of recipes that you can follow um, on your Weber, which is, I think, a pretty cool thing uh, to come with it. Obviously, your warranty and uh, barbecue owner's guide. So that's all good. Now, here it is. The baby itself. The baby Q. Now, of course, this is LPG. Is there anything else in there? For, oh, no, there is. There's the, uh, there's the, uh, the grill grates. Now, don't forget the baby Q, as with all the Weber products only come with the the grate they don't come with the um flat grill so if you want the flat grill you have to get either a barbecue plate breakfast plate or the barbecue frying pan which i will show you because we got the weber frying pan so this is baby cube now as mentioned it does have um this is the lpg uh, gas version you can get a converter to go into the wall for these ones if you want um but you don't really need it for what we're doing because we're taking it camping so i'll put it together quickly and i'll show you well that's what's coming in the box obviously um, but i'll put it together and i'll show you what it looks like okay guys so we're done super quick setup literally about six steps and you're done basically all you had to do was put the grates on which come in two pieces as you can see like that then Screw the hinges on for the lid, which is pretty easy. Put in your drip tray, which goes under here. Then uh, screw on the temperature knob, which is just a matter of screwing it on. And then putting on the temperature gauge, which literally was a matter of using that little coupling there. And then that, is what the Weber Baby Q looks like. It's mint, isn't it? And then basically you just, um, there's your regulator to go onto your gas, gas bottle. 
So we're going to do a bit of a cook tonight, so I'll show you how that goes. Um, but hope you enjoy it. But look, I, I've built quite a few barbecues in my life, I tell you, and there are a million pieces in some of those barbecues. This was literally a six step, simple process, well worth the money, and we'll show you it fired up shortly. All right, folks, we're all set up and ready to whack a cook on here with the um, with the Weber Baby Q. So that's just simply into there, just as you would usually have drip trays all under there, ready to go. Now, I love these products, and watch how quick, watch how quick this starts, right? So you turn onto the ignite, the ignite thing, then you press the electric start, but watch how quick it starts. Boom, and that's it. And a, your Weber is on. And then obviously from here, you can, you know, decide whether you want it lower or higher, however you want your uh, your flame to be. Uh, the lower setting is at the back there, um, and the highest at at the top. Now, um, with all Weber products, this isn't any different. You leave the lid down uh, to let it heat up. That'll heat up real quick now. Uh, but what I've got is the special these special Weber pans because I'm going to be cooking in a pan tonight. I, mean, I was telling you before how I like to have the, um, the the grill plates on all the time, but then have a pan for if I'm doing stuff that needs it. With these Weber pans, you literally just unhook this and take the um, handle off. And now it means when you get that off later on, you can just put the handle on to get it back out. So I'm just going to let that heat up. I'll show you when I put some food on in a minute. Yeah, it's as best as we can do with with one hand. Um, got some turkey mints. It's going into the thing. If I can do it with one hand. <laughs> we got there. So that's going to now sizzle away. And once again, as with your, all your Weber products, you can hear that's sizzling nicely. We close the lid to cook it. That's what you do. We're making some uh, turkey mince nachos tonight. And <clears throat> I've got the uh, all the other ingredients here to uh, to put in the pan again afterwards. But just wanted to uh, to show it all on there. It's heating up beautifully. It's a freezing cold night too. So uh, yeah, look, that's the uh, the Weber Baby Q. Tuning in everyone, obviously I didn't really need to uh, help you make the decision whether I think that uh, the, the, <laughs> the Weber is crap or not because I know it's not. I love these, love these things and um, yeah, if you're looking to go and buy one, this is one time that I will tell you, go and do it. They are awesome. So this is the Weber Baby Q. Get this in your camper van today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.